Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. Today we're going to take a kind of first look slash let's play into a game called Microtopia. Oh man, does this game look cool. Now I browse hundreds of games every week looking for gems that I can share with you here on the channel. And it's about every, I don't know, every two to three months I come across a game where it's like I got to stop whatever I'm working on and go make content. And this is one of those games. I just discovered this about an hour ago as I record this. Oh man, does this look cool. <laughs> I, think, I think this looks awesome. Let's jump into a new game. I have the sound or the uh, music turned off for copyright stuff, but there is music in the game. Let's jump right in and try the demo. This is available on Steam. I'll put links in the description. Let's get started. All right, it says, welcome to Microtopia. You are the hive mind of a robot ant colony. Follow your instincts to build a thriving settlement. Click to complete the button, advance the next step. All right, boom. Hey, you can look around the environment. Okay, this is our normal kind of test the controls kind of thing. Let's get past that one. Okay, every ant colony starts with a queen. You can select her from the build menu. Place the queen and wait for her to land. Oh man, this game just looks so freaking cool to me. Um, and it looks like the maps are different every time you play. Because I did do a little five minute test play through and the map looked quite a bit different than this. So let's um, grab the queen off the hot bar at the bottom of the screen and plunk this guy down. It's a one click to place and then you can kind of rotate. But you don't have to use any special keys. Once you click, it goes into this rotate mode. So I'm going to put you uh, just like this. Kaboom. And watch this guy come in and land. So awesome. Look at that thing. Oh man, it's cool. It's kind of like a, um, you know, like a, almost like a steampunk aesthetic. I oh, love it. I really love this. All right, complete. Okay, you can instruct workers by clicking on them. Okay, pretty straightforward. Okay, and you can let them interact with the environment. They will collect materials or drop them off. Pretty straightforward. Okay, workers can't work through obstacles, so you'll have to draw around them. They're just showing how you can't walk through things. Okay, very nice, straightforward. Use the right mouse button to deselect your current active selection. Makes sense, very intuitive. All right, the queen arrived together with a small group of starting workers. Instruct one to pick up scrap iron, a scrap iron. Okay, let's do it. Grab a worker and I'm just gonna point at this pile of what I think is scrap iron. I can right click and mouse over this. Let's see if it tells us. Yeah, scrap iron pile. Let's grab one of you and just send one of these ants over there. Boom, okay, that's done. Use stockpiles to store your materials. Build a stockpile and instruct an ant to place scrap iron on it. All right, got another item here in the hot bar. Let's grab stockpile. Um, same thing as before, one click to place, then you get into rotation mode. We'll just do it like, like that. Right click to cancel. Okay, now put scrap iron into the stockpile. I'm gonna grab our little ant here that's carrying scrap iron and I'm just gonna send him over this way. Boom. Hooray, that one's completed. Okay, now create supply chains by using trails. These are pathways that remain after ants have used them. Okay, so there's a new thing in the hotbar for us to do. And we just draw out path with different waypoints. And then direct our ant to hop on the trail. Okay, action flags will automatically appear on trails near objects and buildings. That's how you know it's going to actually interact with something close to the trail. You get this little flag thing popping up. Awesome, straightforward. By creating loops, the workers will keep performing the same tasks. I'm gonna guess what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna interact with this pile, drop stuff off at this supply yard, and then keep looping around. I like it, straightforward. All right, use trails to make supply chains, loop them around to automate your workflow, create a hauling trail loop, and use it to collect 10 pieces of scrap iron. Okay. I think we got a scrap pile right here too. That's super duper close. Let's go to trails in the hot bar. Hauling. I'm gonna start 
here. Grab some iron. Uh, find your way back. And loop. Now I gotta put our ant on that trail. So, off you go. Grab some scrap. Throws it on the stockpile. And then we can put another ant on that path too. And that guy will do the same thing. Kinda has to wait in line. And we need to accumulate 10 of these. Four more. Uh, does this show how much? Yeah. That little pile has 16 left. Very awesome. I like it. I like it. Okay, any at any time you can press the space bar to pause the game. Boom. Okay, the queen will soon birth her first larva. You can grow larva into new workers by using an incubator. So build the incubator. We got another new building in our um, hot bar. Again, one click to place and then we can rotate. How about just like that. And that was built out of the scrap iron that we've been collecting. So if that one's completed, okay, you can click and drag existing trails to freely move them around. That's kind of cool. Buildings can be moved into position. It looks like you got to click a little change button or something. Do that. Uh, let's see that again, actually. What did they do? Click the building and then, okay, there's a little button in the bottom right, it looks like, to move the buildings. Cool. Okay, buildings can also be freely demolished and the materials will be returned to the stockpile. I always kind of like that. Get your materials back so you don't have to worry about reworking things. Oh, look at our queen just squeezed out a little larvae. <laughs> oh, larva. Oh, man. Okay, workers have to collect the larva from the queen and bring it to the incubator. Create a new trail to do this. Okay, trails. Hauling. Um, can I start? I don't know if I can start right on the um, the place we're going to interact with. It's hard to tell if we're going to get the flag. So I'm going to start a little bit further back. Grab the larvae. Come down here. Drop it off at the incubator and complete your loop. Let's assign a new ant to that. And we'll watch this. That little larvae. Or larva. Oh man. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh man. I like this. It just seems uh, fresh to me. Okay, so now we got a little guy. A little small worker. That we can direct and do things. Alright. Next on the tutorial. Don't be afraid to go back and change your layouts. Efficient setups likely need several iterations. Yeah, that's often the case. Oh, check this out. These guys are walking by four different incubators. And I guess I'll just drop off at the first available one. Kind of cool. Okay, the queen needs energy to produce more larva. Collect energy pods from flowers using the foraging trail. So that's a different kind of trail. These are hauling trails. We need a foraging trail. Uh, let's do it. Uh, here's flowers. So we get our new kind of trail here on the hot bar foraging. Let's um, create some kind of loop where these flowers are. I don't know. Let's see. We'll start. Start down here. Get near a flower. Get near these two flowers. Those two flowers, that flower. I just want to make sure we're we're hitting all the different flowers. Boom, and then over to the queen and loop. And then this time, let's try one of our new little little guys, small worker, and put him or her on that task. What are these guys doing, by the way? Oh, they're little um. Their scrap pile is been depleted. Here's this guy feeding the energy pods. Boop. I don't know how many it needs to spit out a little larvae. There it goes. <laughs> nice catch. Into the incubator. This just looks cool to me. Awesome. 
Awesome. Got another worker. I might throw that one right on this harvesting. And then I'm guessing these little flowers will respawn. And we have more flowers on the map that we can make routes to. Okay, that's done. Uh, before we go to the next objective, let's take care of the issue over here. Make sure we got a good supply of um, scrap iron coming in. Down in the hot bar, we've got an eraser. Let's remove these trails and get another trail. Looks like there's a whole bunch. Can I do anything here? Iron. Collect this with mining. Collect this with hauling. Okay, yeah, we likely are going to get a mining ability. We don't have that yet, but let's haul all this scrap. So this is going to be another hauling one. Haul. Uh, what is that little thing? That'll get both. Okay. I want one big path to collect all this scrap. Then we can kind of keep these guys doing their thing. Um. 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 I'm not sure how much the stockpile will hold. Back down to you and you. Uh, and those guys were already on the path, so off they go. This scrap too, this little thing? Yeah. Okay, that's back in action. Let's go to the next step. The queen needs energy to produce larvae. Uh, feed her energy pods to fill the energy meter in the top left of the interface. Okay, we'll look for that. Feed her enough energy and the colony will go up a stage, and this will increase the colony's max population. We will keep producing larvae until the max population is reached. Got it. Okay, a higher energy tier also means that the bar will deplete quicker. So feed her as much energy as you can as you can to sustain a high population. Hmm, I wonder if we start losing them. Oh, here we go. Top left. Total energy fed. We're at stage one, and our max population is ten. So maybe it just we get to keep our existing ants, but um the queen won't squeeze out anymore unless we um, have the energy level high enough. Uh, these plants look to be respawning. Let's put another little guy on that path. And then I think we should probably get another path going over here. I don't know if we can augment a path to have them. Uh, we probably don't want to. Let's do another foraging path foraging about here I want to highlight that is there any more way out here hmm do we have them walk a big long path uh, let's try it this may not be the most optimal We can pluck both of those from there. Gotta get close enough to these guys. Okay, that one's on the list. And then all the way back. And then let's put these new little fellers. And this big long path. About all three of you. All right, so we got plenty of scrap. Is this thing full? Can't tell. Looks like these guys are still dropping off stuff. 26, 27, 28. So we've got a good supply of scrap iron. We've got one guy working on the incubator. We might need another incubator soon. And then we've got a couple different foraging paths for these energy pod things on the flowers. Three ants. That's a start in our energy level. Still at stage one. We're not getting enough energy. About what's going on over here? Oh no, they die. They die. Okay. Our little workers die off. Sad but true. Um, I wonder if that's a symptom of us not providing enough energy or if they just naturally die off. Boom. 
we'll see. Still at stage one energy. I don't want to see. There we go to stage two. Ooh, stage two allows us to have 25 ants. They're not squeezing out a lot, are they? And now those flowers are depleted. But these. Let's throw another ant, another worker. We've got one big guy here. Let's put him on the long path. Oh, yeah, they're dying. Poor little guys. They didn't even have a chance to be big workers. Um, why? Why are they dying? I don't know. At least not yet. They have a little energy meter. Alright, let's keep going in the tutorial. Maybe we'll discover more. Ants can take materials from stockpiles by using dispensers. Okay. And you can easily place them by clicking place dispenser on the desired stockpile. So click your stockpile, click dispenser. Oink. Ooh. Okay. And then dispensers can also be reassigned to a different stockpile. You just click on the dispenser, click change target, and then drag to the new stockpile. Makes sense. A okay, scrap iron can be processed into iron ingots using a smelter. Build the smelter and use it to produce 10 iron ingots. Place those in a stockpile. Workers can collect from stockpiles using dispensers. You can easily place them from the stockpile UI. All right, let's do some kind of smelting loop. Maybe up over here. So this guy, let's put a dispenser down. Click and then rotate. Boom. And then let's get a smelter under we got another 10 new tab in the hotbar smelter how about here and then we need another stockpile um here it's gonna be the iron ingots i guess does this guy have an output don't know all right let's get Man, our ants are dying. I hate seeing these little dead ones. Yeah, we got a couple new workers here. Uh, pick up from the stockpile. Oh, I need a trail. Falling. Pick up from there. Drop off this smelter. Then go to this stockpile? Hmm. How do I know that I'm going to get what I want out of there. Let's do one path that just does this. And then let's give this guy a dispenser, his own dispenser. That might be what we're supposed to do. Um, oh, recipe. Melt iron. Can I get a dispenser from this guy or is it just stockpiles? Uh, let's get somebody working over there and we'll take a look and see how this this plays out. I'm gonna path them around some obstacles. Still getting scrap. Still got ants harvesting on both paths, looks like. Hop another one onto this path, maybe. And another one onto this path for now. Okay, we're smelting. Yeah, he needs to. Let's uh, try the click and drag. You drop that little nugget off. A okay, place dispenser accepts. Okay, good. So now this guy's not going to accept the scrap, even though it's on a path. Okay, we're doing it. We're smelting. Very cool. guy actually waits for it to be done. Grabs a scrap, toss it in, and he waits. Cool. I like it. Okay, we need more iron blocks. Let's go throw another worker or two onto that path. Boom. Whoops, I got a path around this stuff. Might be time for another incubator, too. Boom. Get a couple ants on that path. These guys are doing awesome on the 
scrap iron. These guys keep dying off, man. Are these like poison flowers or what's going on here? Looks like I got a bunch of dead workers on this path. I wonder if we can harvest those. Bet we can. I have a feeling because they're kind of sticking around. Do I have ants on this path? I do. It looks like just one. Let's get some more on this monster long path. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's the optimal setup. It probably isn't. But let's see what's next. Boom. Hey, use the iron to build a workshop. Will do. Production. Workshop. Where do you want me to put that? And what's it for? How about... Up over this way. Like that. You can always move them. What's next? The workshop can create a variety of products using different materials. You can use the building UI to choose between recipes. Produce two iron plates and produce five screws. Alright, scroll up so I can see. Change our recipe to screws. And I guess we need a stockpile to put this stuff, right? Stockpile there. Let's do another stockpile here. And then can I set the filter on these? Saps. We want... What are we going to make first? Plates. Let's do... Plates for that guy. Screws for this guy. And let's do a hauling path. This time, we'll put a dispenser on the iron ingots. Or plunk. And then we need a hauling trail. Check it out. Divider trail. Logic trail to divide ants evenly over several trails. Ants will divide themselves over all the trails connected to the start of this trail. Hmm, we'll have to look at the tutorial for that one, I think. Hauling, I want... Take that. Take it to the smelter. Pass that storage. Pass that storage. And then come home. Let's get a couple little buddies over there. Whoops, I gotta navigate... The obstacles here it looks like to get this guy on the path. Boink, 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 boink. So you got three little buddies over there. Yeah, the ones on this path keep dying off. I have to see if we can learn why that is. Might be obvious and I'm just missing it. Right now, I'm a little puzzled. Do you think we could probably have another incubator down? Let's do that. Production population incubator. How about... Right there, maybe? Yeah, good. It's within range. We're at stage two as far as our keeping the queen fed. And I'm still a little perplexed how to keep our little buddies alive and growing. Alright. So we're in the process of creating screws. Let's watch this process. Or plates, rather. Uh, I must have picked screws first. It waits for the screw to be constructed. Wow, yeah, it takes a while, huh? Takes the screw, passes the... Oh, he just died. No! <laughs> this stockpile should be empty. Boy, he just died with a screw and he just kind of threw it in the air and gave up. I don't know if those are laying on the ground somewhere. So we got six screws. Now we need to change the recipe here to plates. Change you to make iron plates. All three of our little ants died. Our little workers died. Oh man, I take it back. This game's just too sad and depressing. 
these little buddies. We spent all that time to nurture them and to grow them. And they're dying off so fast. All right. Okay, we'll get those guys working on plates. Looks like we only need two. I wonder if those are super slow to produce. The workshop. Oh, it must take. Oh, oh. It takes multiple ingots to make a plate. Yeah, four. Okay. That's maybe why they only need want us to do two for the tutorial. Hey, we're at stage three now with our queen. So we must be doing all right on the food. This looks like it needs workers. This is our um, iron ingot production. Let's get three more short living workers on that path. And then maybe another guy over here. A couple over there. One on the big long path. And then maybe another one on the iron ingot production. Our collector, the bigger ones, they're living a long time, right? These guys are doing their job collecting scrap. Uh, I like it. Okay, we need one more iron plate. That's probably it right there. These guys, yeah, their energy dies down and then I guess they die. There must be a way to allow these guys to eat. Maybe we'll find out. All right, next step in the tutorial. In Microtopia, you can upgrade workers to enhance their lifespan and capabilities. Build a combiner and use it to combine two small workers into a regular worker. Oh man. Build a combiner and create a worker ant. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. The questions are being addressed here. Okay, we got two incubators here. Let's get a combiner nearby. Um, something like that. Uh, the, the input's over here. Okay, create a worker ant. Let's try it. Oh man. Uh, trail. Hauling. We're actually going to pick up these little guys. I think. Drop off. Oh, interesting. I don't know if this is going to work. It doesn't look like it. All right, how do we do it? How do we do it? Microtopia, you can upgrade workers to enhance their lifespan. Build a combiner and use it to combine two small workers into a regular worker. I imagine we can set this up. Um, let's, yeah, let's get another hauling path down here. Here. Erase this. Might take a little bit of experimentation. I just want to manually, I'm going to manually put these guys on. Okay, out comes the bigger ant. Uh, it's a little bigger worker. It's not as big as the ones we got over here though, is it? You guys are sentries. That must be yet another upgrade. But we did get a worker. That guy should live a bit longer. And let's throw him on to some path. Now, is there a way to have these guys dump off where we want them to? What is this? This is to move the building, I think. This is to change the recipe on the incubator. Like, yeah, there's no choices there, really. Hmm. don't see a way to get these guys. I can try and move this. Yeah, I don't know how to get them automatically on the, 
on the treadmill here. <laughs> oh man, it's pretty cool. All right, we built our worker ant. Let's keep going. Okay, keep producing until you created five regular workers. Okay, do you need to move out of the way? He does. Um, yeah, there's no distributor here. I do have to move these guys off the end point. I mean, I can try. Can I get you just to leave? Let's see if that does it. That did work. What about over here? Can I do a new hauling path to put you guys on here? Yep. Okay, that worked. Let's drag this guy down. Want this. Can I drag you? Can't drag that node. Alright, let's put these guys on the path. Get him out of the way. Now we can drag this node down. And we'll put a new hauling path just to put these guys on the treadmill. Now we should be good to go. And then these guys are just queuing up, waiting to be assigned. Let's put them to work. Oh, so I imagine we could use this divider to route the newborns into the different paths that we need them to go work. Rather than me doing it manually like this. It's like this guy needs some workers. This guy needs workers. Yeah, I bet that's kind of what we're supposed to be doing. Of course, I'm not going to do it right now. Let's keep going. Uh, okay, you can combine regular workers once you... Once again, to create inventor ants. Combine two regular workers into an inventor ant. Oh, man. Oh, man. But these guys can probably path into another one of these. Combine to inventor. You can combine workers once again. So let's do it. Let's put another combiner guy down. How about over here? And then we'll extend this path. I guess we just use a hauling path for you guys. Boom. You. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. Um, somehow I'm not connected up. Put these guys off here and see if we can't get this fixed. Erase that. Okay, we're good. And then these guys need a path, otherwise they're going to block things from continuing. Let's uh, just put a big long path here for these guys to have a place to line up when they're done. Okay, this is working. I think. 56% completed. Oh. What? Hmm. Materials required for build. Combiner. Oh, maybe this guy's not assembled yet. So we need, yeah, we need, we need more ants working over there. Time to move. Okay, these guys are doing the plates. We obviously need to have separate production lines, one for plates and one for, um, screws. What else do you need? We need screws, so let's change this over to screws. Oh man, is this cool or what? This is super cool. Okay, these guys will make screws. There's a dead ant. I wonder if we could pick that up. 
Can I do anything with that? I can't. Yeah, okay, the screw's now going to build this guy. I want to see this um, combine. And then maybe... Hmm, we'll see. Maybe we'll see, we'll see how much further to go. I'm playing the demo. It's available on Steam now. I don't know how long the demo lasts. So we'll go a little bit longer. Looks like I probably need one more screw and then we can see things combine. Check it. Look at them all queuing up here. Uh, our incubator guy is still alive. These guys must live for a long time. Yeah, energy is infinite for these sentries. Nice. That's why these guys aren't dying off. That might be like a limited type thing. Okay, now what's happening? Are you guys going in? I gotta pick a recipe, probably. Uh, combine to an inventor. Hmm. Is it not these guys? Is it the little guys? Waiting for materials. It looks like it's supposed to be those. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Let's see if we can drag this. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. Pause. I move these when it's paused. I want you to go there. But it just doesn't seem, they don't seem to want to go in. There they go. One went in. Maybe this one needs to be moved too. Let's pause. See if we can get this guy. There it goes. Now it's snapped. Nice, nice, nice. Comes our new buddies. It's hard to tell how much lifetime that really is, that energy bar. But we're about to make our first little worker. Check it out. It's showing what percentage of a worker we have. My two regular workers into an inventor ant. Meanwhile, these guys just burn through energy and kind of waste it. Um, why don't one of you guys... Come help with the harvest. What are we doing? Yeah, we're down to stage two now. We've almost got our first inventor ant. Boy, they take time. Check it out. Oh man, that one looks different. That looks way different. Um, can I drag you to snap in? I want these guys to clear the run or clear the uh, little landing pad there. Okay, you can create. What do I do with this guy? Seems like this one would have special abilities. Production workshop, population combiner. Oh, let's still complete, see what's next. Inventor ants can unlock new buildings and recipes. To do so, they need to be fed other ants. Oh man, how horrible. This can be done using an inventor pad. Fill up an inventor ant by feeding it 10 energy. Oh, energy pods. What? Oh, fed by other ants, not fed other ants. Okay, more acceptable. All right, what we need to do now, hmm. We need to collect energy pods, maybe into a storage. And then somehow, we need to feed these guys. It's going to be done using an inventor pad. Let's take a look. Progression, inventor pad. What do we do with this? Let's, um... Oh man, we got things to do. Let's, um, what should we do? What should we do? I'll tell you what I'm considering. One, we've got this inventor pad thing. 
Right, so the we need to feed ants energy pods, and we have some over here. Let's just do it. Let's put this guy down. I'm not sure how this works. Let's put it down like that. And then let's get a harvesting path. Harvesting trail. Foraging trail, sorry. Guessing the food goes in here. Boom. So collect from those guys. Collect from that one. Collect from that one. Drop it off. And continue on your way. Hopefully, that's going to work. Let's take some of these guys to do that. Whoops, whoops, wrong path. I want you way up here, fellas. Maybe one more of these guys, workers. Gotta route them around the stuff. They can actually get there. Okay, so we have three supplying energy pods in here, theoretically. Let's see if this guy does it. Are you going to drop off your little... No, you're not. Venture pad. Let's put... Could be I've got this backwards. Let's see if we get an inventor ant up in there. If it'll start accepting food. That's my guess. My guess is this guy's going to plop on top of this platform and these guys are going to start feeding it. But I don't know. Maybe here? How do, where do you go, buddy? Don't you go here? Don't you go up onto that? Yeah, I might have it just the opposite. Let's rotate this thing. Um, I'm going to have to move it somewhere else. How about here-ish? Right, let's pause and drag this over there. And then maybe you want to go up in there? That makes sense. Kind of a ramp, right? There he goes. Okay, let's see if these guys drop off their little energy nuggets. Cool. Oh, oh, what's going on here? This is getting bigger. <laughs> oh man oh man this is so cool the art style love it love it um okay, these guys produced a ton of screws yeah 22 screws let's switch over to plates we really need two factories over here oh man he's getting big he needs five more <laughs> Oh man, I like this quite a bit if it's not obvious. Let's drop some more over here, these little workers. Again, I'm not really optimized yet. Kind of have, just want to see what the game has to offer, but oh man, is this cool. Look at that thing. Gold. Uh, we're at stage two. We're neglecting the queen big time. We're going to need to go take care of that problem here soon. want to see the last one go in. Look at that. Okay, now what? Look at that thing. Okay, inventor ants can unlock new buildings and recipes. Do so they need to be fed by other ants. This can be done by using an inventor pad. Okay, complete. Click on the inventor ant to complete its duty. Boink. Okay, it just exploded and gave us some tech tree points, it looks like. Oh my gosh, look at this. Uh, I'm trying to zoom. Okay, this is a scroll up, scroll down kind of thing. You can see the scroll bar on the far right. So as I scroll up, look at this tech tree. Oh my gosh. This is freaking, this is pretty darn awesome. Oh man, do I like it. I like it quite a bit. Okay, available in the full version. So yeah, we're limited in the demo. Let's do radar technology. Looks like the only thing we can choose. And then down here at the bottom left, there's our points that we got. That's how we get 
peck tree points, it looks like, by feeding our ant. We get 10 for every 10 things we feed it. But I guess there's only one thing I can click on. All these say available in full version. Let's click radar technology. Um, or maybe we can't do anything. It doesn't look like I can click anything. Exploration? Boink, 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 boink. Okay, let's see what it says. Click on the event ant to complete its duty. Okay. Complete. I'm not sure what that was about. Okay, you've unlocked the radar tower. In the full version, you'll unlock this via the tech tree. Build the radar tower and make contact with another colony. Let's do it. Uh, we gotta feed the queen, right? We're down to stage one. Let's see if we can get some workers. Where colony may die off. What about taking one of these workers, these the ones that never die, and getting them onto kind of more important things? We've got a never die harvesting energy pods, a never die harvesting larvae. That makes some sense. Um, these guys, I need you more. Feed the queen. Feed the queen. Feed the queen. You can go feed the queen as well. Because um, we're colony starting to die off here, actually. Squeeze out a little larvae for us. Yeah, I think by neglecting the feeding of the queen, that's how we might be able to, that might be the kind of the death spiral condition, right? Most of my little workers have all died off. Got too many over here. You go feed the queen. Uh, find a path, please. You, down here, down here. Work your way around all this mess. And take the big path, help feed the queen. Same thing with you. Don't really need to work the tech tree because it's, I'm guessing, because it's a little limited in the demo. Tons of scrap iron, 50. That must be as much as that thing holds, I'm guessing. Yeah, uh, no, I don't know. Drag this closer to that pile so this guy can pick up things. Okay, we're getting more guys out of here. Yeah, I've got all these. Will these work? Energy infinite for inventor ants. Will they do work? Let's see if they will. They might not. I gotta path them through the mess. Let's see if they'll actually do the work. If they live forever... Uh, looks like they move a little slower, maybe. Yeah, they move quite a bit slower. But they do live forever. Um, but maybe they're too slow to actually work these, these long routes or these long trails. Oh man, it's gonna take forever just to even watch that guy. Let's get another one down. Not the purpose of these ants, I don't think, to do this work. But if they have infinite energy, maybe if we put enough on that path, they may not even do the work. We're gonna find out here in a second. Here comes one. Coming up on a flower. Will you pluck it? No, he doesn't want to. I refuse. Harvesting plants is beneath me. Okay. I think we need to shut this off. Let's pull. Okay, I'm going to pause. I'm going to pull this back for now. I can I'll pull this path back, fellas. Like I can't really grab that one. Uh, let's erase. And I'm just going to do a loop here. I need 
more ants feeding the queen. Desperately. We go there. Got the game paused, I think, right now. Uh, those are the only... Is this guy alive? It is. Maybe you can take this path on. Okay, on pause. Now let's build the, um... Let's build the radar tower. Anywhere, I suppose. Doesn't look like this has inputs or outputs. Um, but it does need more materials than we have. What? What is this? I don't know what that is. Okay, build the radar tower. You've unlocked the radar tower in the full version. You'll unlock the tech tree. Okay. Make contact with another colony. We need more plates. Those are in production. Are these the little energy pods? Don't quite know. Um, let's... With this little loop... I'm wondering if we should put some things into storage. I'm going to throw down a storage. Stockpile. Right there. Let's see if these guys will start storing these. Maybe this is being used as a building material. Oh no, stay on the path. He's going to die maybe before he gets... Drop that off into storage. Okay, yeah, that is being used as a building material. We need to get more ants on that path. Okay, find a way over there, buddy. Not there. Not there. All right, I'll pick you off later. Boom. Kind of want that. Same thing for you. I kind of want to start harvesting these energy pods uh, so we can build a radar tower. Radio tower. Um, we've got enough inventor ants. They're, they're determined not to do the work, right? This guy's not helping us at all. Not helping. So we can put this guy back onto the... If I can get him over there. Boink. He can sit and wait to be fed. Um, okay, here's some more on the loop, burning their energy off. Let's get these guys working. Boom, that's for the radar tower. You can maybe come feed the queen. We're back up to stage two. Boom. This guy can be brought over to feed the queen. Again, we wouldn't have to do this manually um, long term. We should be trying out the this guy right here, this divider. A logic trail to divide ants evenly over several trails. Ants will divide themselves over all the trails connected to the start of this trail. We can try that. So we've got this path here. Uh, this one, right? This is where we've got... Ants just in a loop. Can I pull that off? I cannot really pull that node down. Let's erase it. I don't want to create any more inventor ants. Got a little loopy path here. And what I really want to have happen is with this divider want you guys to sometimes go here, sometimes go there, sometimes go <laughs> up here. Can I see that guy? Sometimes go here. That's producing the actual iron ingots. Sometimes go here. Let's see, Link. Oh, no, no, no. See. Um. Can't seem to do that directly. Get him over this way. That'll actually work. That's a clear path. Sometimes go.
go there. Let's see what happens if they actually use this. Um, we need more larvae. Okay. 75% built. We're waiting on 10 more energy pods. That's these guys up here doing this harvesting. I don't think any of them are actually feeding the inventor ant. We'd have to wait till that storage got filled up. Um, this guy is still getting scrap for us. We got a little bit more in this pile. Um, this is probably... Oh, 70. I'm not sure how much these piles hold, but they hold a lot. Here's a new larvae coming. I'm hoping once they spit out here, they'll start taking these different paths. Uh, this one didn't work out, so let's get rid of that. There's a new little youngin. Gets the treadmill. Goes in. Okay, yeah. We're starting to get more food. Okay, where is he going to decide to go? Well, he picks one of these paths and is automatically distributed where we want him. He's going on this short loop to feed the queen. Where's the next guy going to go? If he takes a different path. Yep, he's going to go straight up over here. Uh, the thing is, how do we get it so that it's, um, that I can reach paths that require a turn? This is only a straight path. That guy is going up here. Okay, we're, we've got to be close in the tower. 92%. What else do you need? More plates. Yeah, I don't have anybody working the plates. I need to just manually send some ants over there, I guess. I'm gonna borrow you, buddy. Need... somebody working up there. How could I get that? Spider. I mean, I could clear that out of my way. I'm going to steal you, buddy. I need more ants working this. Now, what are you building? You're building plates. And that's, I think, what we need for the radio tower. Yeah, we still need five more plates. That's going to take a while. Okay, we're back up to stage three with the queen feeding. Uh, these guys are just slowing up the whole process. You guys got to get out of here. Inventor ant. Do I have more on there? I do. You can... Hang out up there. Okay. Let's get this other inventor ant off the path. He's blocking everybody. They're not... Wanting to carry things. It's fine. It's not really their job. Okay, right click to end that. Anybody else clogging up the works here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, that looks good. The little guys get born. They go in here and get combined into these guys, workers. And workers choose a path. How can I do it? Let's see. I want to erase this. Yeah. Can I do a divider and have you just go there? And then from here, do a hauling path here up to this. Let's see if that works for us. I think it's going to. Boom. If that changes now, whoops. Hopefully we'll send a worker off to the right. We've got a supply of ants going to... No, or oh, the next one will. Awesome. Oh, oh no, that's fine. This all looks good. Okay, we got a couple little babies coming out. Hopefully this worker's going to go off to the right. 
and help us make more plates. Boom. So that is super cool. So this divider is effectively like a belt splitter. And this guy is going to join the rat race here, picking up iron ingots and turning those into plates for now. Boom, it takes multiple ingots to do it. Nice, 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 nice. How close are we? 97%. What do we need? Two more plates. And now we've got a steady supply of ants going and doing that. Oh, check it out. we got a huge supply of these guys. We could turn that off. Let's pull that path back. And now this inventor ant should get fed. So we can try and direct these guys over there. Get in line, buddy. And what happened to the inventor ant? Did it die off? I can't remember. Once we fed it, 10 things, we'll find out. Check it out. We are pretty well automated. The only thing we need to clean up is have another, maybe another factory that's doing screws. Very cool. I like the little smelter. Sounds pretty cool too. We're almost there. We are almost there. This might be the last little plate. Takes a while to craft those. Boom. Yeah, that's got to be it. All right. Make contact. Check it out. Make contact. <laughs> Click of a button. What? What are all these guys flying around? Is this cool or what? Man, this is such a cool looking game. I like it. We've run into no issues and the tutorial is awesome on this. Okay, we're halfway on our way to contacting. That's probably going to be the end of the demo. That's my guess. Look at this. Is this freaking cool or what? Well, we're getting some music coming in. Oh, man. This is so awesome. I like it. All right, boom, there it is, end of the demo. Oh man, is that cool or is that cool? That is called Microtopia. It doesn't have a release date as I record this. There is, however, a free demo on Steam. Oh man, I highly recommend checking it out. There will be more of this game on the GliderCat channel as soon as I can get access to a more unlocked version. Man, is that cool. We saw the tech tree is huge. Let's take a look at that again if we can. How do we get to it? How did we get to that? Radio tower, inventor pad. We did all that. We did those two. We did the storage and the dispensers. We did all the trails, including the divider. Tech tree. Boom. There's a button right there. Let's just uh, take a look at this and then we'll call it an episode or we'll call it a first look. I guess we'll make this a first look video. Okay. Flight. Crate workers that can fly. Awesome. Class. Sort your ants based on different properties. Simple electronics. Okay, that's more material production. Smelt scrap copper. Concrete. Mining. Oh, yeah. Remember we saw those big, um, these things right here. Let's collect from this with mining and it gets you. I'm not sure what that is. That's doesn't look like the scrap, right? Oh, uh, yeah. It's just scrap, I guess. What else? Yeah, these are all, this is all scrap that we can get, I guess, from mining. It'd be interesting to see. Oh, this is a different resource. That might be stone. It'd be interesting to see if there's um, bigger maps like 
or if there are multiple things, multiple little islands that you work on. Go back to the tech tree and look at a little bit more of that and then we'll call it deconstruction. Downgrades ants into their previous versions. Warming, create a swarm of small ants by splitting up the larger ones. Exploration, reveal a new land to explore and expand the colony. That's how we grow. Recycle ants into usable materials. I wonder if that's harvesting the dead ones. A okay, concrete. Foundations allow you to build on a grid. Resin. Fiber and concrete. More materials. Lighting. LEDs. Progress to the second tier of worker ants. Okay, so level up. Upgrade the inventor ant to let them complete more advanced research. Okay, cool. They're probably going to feed them other things. Random materials into dusts. Oh, man. I hope you guys are as excited about this as I am. I think this is freaking awesome. Really like it. I really like it. Reveal a new land to explore and expand the colony. So maybe you're kind of limited on the new lands that you can unlock. It looks like they're in the tech tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe there's ten new islands or something. Just guessing on that. But yeah, we'll end this first look here. Again, Microtopia. It's available on Steam. I'll put all the links in the description. I haven't found a Discord yet. I will be hunting for that. And I am going to be trying to chase down these developers big time. Because I think this looks fantastic. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please remember to give the video a like. And you can consider hitting that thanks button if you want. Also, I want to thank Gladdercat patrons and channel members for their support of the channel. There's links to support the channel if you'd like to do that. I would be grateful for that support. Hope you enjoyed this first look. With that, I'll see you in the next one.